Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Iron Man 3406 here. First time, if this is your first time tuning in the channel, my name is Nathan. Uh, if you guys have been following along, you know we've been tearing apart the engine on our Cat 60 here. Um, there's about four installments prior to this. This is gonna be part five. Um, so last time we got the two jugs off number one and two, pistons and everything came out with it. Today's mission is to get the, the final two off um, and I'm going to get the water pump off, get it all out of the way, and then I'll have more room to get those jugs off and work with them, and they're stuck good when they're stuck, so there's lots to, uh, lots to work at, and I just want more room, so. If anybody is watching and is ever um, working on one of these old cats with uh, the water pump shaft, nuts here with the packing inside they are reverse thread just FYI um, so don't uh, don't go loosening it thinking and you know like it's a normal thread you got to go the opposite way so Sometimes we all have a blonde moment. I don't know why I thought that that shaft would come off with that packing nut, but I, uh, that's obviously wrong. So I'm gonna put that back on. I'm just gonna leave the water pump on because I don't feel like getting into the front gear train. So I'll just work around the water pump, but uh, yeah. One of them whoops moments. <laughs> all right, so repeat on the other side. Take that cover off. And then we'll also pop off the uh, the lifters, get rid of the mag mount bracket here, and then that'll free up a little bit of space. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> First piece on the whole thing that hasn't been seized is a lifter. <laughs> Two lifters not seized. Things are looking up. They, uh, still think number three is about the best in about the best shape on this engine. That's about the only rod that didn't have any rust on it. Hopefully it means that it'll come out a little easier than the rest. Um, it's the next day. I uh, did finally get both rod caps off. It was a freaking struggle. Um, couldn't get the car keys out and there was lots of swearing and cursing and I just can't I can't use any of it for video because uh, I don't know my channel might get shut down with that much cursing. Like it was it was beyond Rick Bork cursing so um, you know that's 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 pretty bad. Um, but anyway got the rod caps off they're over here. Number four, really, really dry. Um, it's, you know, it was stuck on there really good. And then number three, you know, not as dry, but uh, it is what it is. There's some staining on it. So we actually had to, uh, because the cotter keys were so stuck, we had to torch off the nuts in order to. Uh, get the rod caps off there's just no way we could spin them with the cotter key stuck through the middle they were seized as you could tell just from that that last clip there where I'm squeaky squeaky and on the on the nuts so um, but anyway we got the rod caps off onward and upward literally, <laughs> to uh, getting the bolts off the or the nuts off the jugs and then we'll hopefully be able to get three and four lifted off of the engine as well so Keep an eye on it, I guess. See any more, just go in and get them cut out. I don't know if I did it well, right? It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Alright, so I got the nuts out on all of these. I got number three loosened off. It came up pretty easy. Number four is being stubborn. So I'm gonna have to beat on it with a hammer for a while. And on the sledge with a rubber mallet there. And uh Keep beating on it, try and break it free. It's gonna be stuck on, sorry it's really dark in there, the connecting rod, on the crank. So just gotta manipulate things a little bit and get it broke free and then we'll be able to lift these off and and uh, then we'll have a bare engine block. So. things are getting serious now we're uh, attempting to get the connecting rod separated from the crankshaft so we got a hydraulic jack in there now <laughs> see what happens free took some major force but we got her
Well, everybody, we got number three and number four jugs out of the way. You saw that when we were picking them out there with the uh, skid steer. That number four is uh, is toast. So we got a crank that's no good in this one. Um, but fortunately for us, we have a crank that's uh, good in the in the other 60. So uh, here's a look at the rest of the jugs. Three and four. Um, we got some work to get the pistons out of these, but at least they're off the tractor. We can beat around and do whatever we need to do. Um, number four, you can see why it was stuck real bad. Um, it was pretty dry, so that babbit should clean up okay, though, and uh, we'll be in business. Um, yeah, we got lots of pieces here to clean up, but... Um, I think I'm gonna cut off part five here and we'll uh, get ready to start assessing, figuring out what the plan is. Part six, I uh, will let you guys know what the plan is for how we're gonna build uh, one of these bad boys up. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. So thanks for watching. Uh, tune in next time and you'll be filled in as to what we're gonna do here for parts and pieces to build a good running tractor. Again, if you uh, want to keep following along on this project, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications so that you'll know when uh, we post a new video on it. Um, but until then, uh, my name's Nathan, and don't forget, I am Iron Man. We'll see you around next time.